Come. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Randy Weingarten. Ladies and gentlemen, sisters and brothers, I am the president of the 1.5 million member American Federation of Teachers. We have come so far. King, Ruston, Evers, Parks, Chavez, and so many others who have summoned our nation to confront the malignancy of prejudice and discrimination. And many of our afflictions have been healed, but we have far to go because the Supreme Court has turned its back on voter suppression, many will once again be denied the right to vote. Children born today poor will stay poor. Billions of Americans work hard every day but can't earn a living wage or exercise their right to collectively bargain. Public schools where kids need the most often get the least. And discrimination based on the color of your skin or the person you love may not be legal in many arenas but it is still lethal in many times. Leaders this day, 50 years ago, understood that the struggle for civil rights and racial equality is a struggle for good jobs and decent wages. They understood, as we do today, that public education is an economic necessity, an anchor of democracy, and a fundamental right. So, we celebrate today that we have become a country that believes in equality, and we recommit ourselves to be a country that acts on that belief. And that starts with reclaiming the promise of public education, not as it is today or was in the past, but what we need it to be to fulfill our collective responsibility to all of God's children. A great nation ensures that every neighborhood public school is a good school. It takes great pains to make the working poor and child hunger conditions of the past. It honors the rights of workers. It takes its immigrants out of its shadows and it makes the franchise sacrosanct. A great nation is one that acts to lifting us towards opportunity and justice. The King family has brought us together these five days, not simply to reflect, but to act. And we at the AFT will act to keep the dream alive. Thank you.